Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. We're doing a little makeup refresh today, doing a very skin focused, more glowy, but not overly glowy. So even if you have an oilier skin type, I think you'll thoroughly enjoy this look, but it's just very fresh, very minimal on the eyes. The skin is really where we put a lot of the focus and the attention on today. And then we have just this really pretty, little bit brighter, juicy, yummy, glossy lip. So today's video is very kindly sponsored by Beauty Pie. Y'all know how much I love Beauty Pie products. A lot of their products made their way into my 2021 favorites and I'm super excited to be doing a full face of Beauty Pie and to be creating this look for y'all. So if you have not heard of Beauty Pie or you did not watch my previous Beauty Pie video, this is a membership service where you pay $59 for the year and you can shop the entire website at a discounted price. It's usually around like 75% off and the annual membership comes out to less than $5 a month. Their products are made in the same labs as a lot of other high-end luxury brands literally making the same products in the same lab um, but you're getting all of them at a really discounted price and i've just thoroughly enjoyed so many beauty pie products so that is what we're doing today make sure you grab something to drink grab a snack i'm just working on my big jug of water I'm trying to get that glowy dewy skin from the inside out um so grab something to enjoy while you watch this and let's get into it all right so since this is going to be a very skin focused look. I definitely want to kind of incorporate some steps to just make the skin look as good as possible even before applying foundation, just kind of making it look really glowy and pretty and juicy. So one of my favorite products from Beauty Pie, and this is saying a lot because I'm not a primer person, but this is actually really, really pretty. This is their All in Wonder Illuminating Primer. Um, it's just a really pretty, very moisturizing, kind of thicker cream. Uh, I don't know how to describe it, but I'll go ahead and uh, show you what it looks like. So it's this kind of beige tone and it has this radiance to it, but there's no shimmer or glitter. But just for a little extra glow, I'm going to use the Beauty Pie Pro Glow Strobing Drops. So it comes in this glass dropper bottle. This is in the shade Illuminati. I'm gonna give her a little shake. I'm gonna mix it in with that illuminating primer. I really love this combo together. The highlighter is quite intense on its own. So those are the illuminating drops and that's the primer. So you can kind of see the uh, drops are quite intense, but I love just mixing it in with the primer and it kind of creates this really pretty glowy, priming moisturizer. It's just, it's so beautiful on the face. I can use it all over and I don't feel like I look like the Tin Man. So I'm just gonna take this, mainly focusing on the cheek area. I'm not gonna take it through the nose or anything because I tend to get shiny there anyway throughout the day. And the primer also has a very smooth kind of feel to it, which is nice. All right, so normally this would cost $40 without the membership, but with the membership, it's only $11 and you're getting half an ounce. You get a lot of product in here. And with the illuminating primer, this would normally retail for $32, but with the membership, it's $11. So just really affordable, really great products. And I just love the beautiful effect that they give the skin. So moving on to foundation, um, this is a relatively new product to me, but it's really, really nice. This is the Beauty Pie Great Skin Foundation. I love the packaging. So this is a really nice, very lightweight, Pretty light coverage foundation, doesn't have a lot of coverage, which is perfect for me. Um, I'm using this in the shade Light 300 Beige, which I find is a perfect match for me when I've got a self tan, which I do currently. So I'm just gonna dot this on the face. And my favorite way to blend this in is with a damp beauty sponge. I just feel like it gives the most natural, just diffused, just really pretty look to the skin. Um, I find this formula works really well with a sponge and the formula is really nice. It kind of has like a little bit like a gel texture so it just applies really nicely, feels nice on the skin. And this foundation has, I would say, more of a natural finish. It's not matte, it's not overly matte, definitely not dewy. I say probably on the natural side leaning more towards the matte side. And you can of course mix the strobing drops in with the foundation, that would be really pretty as well. You could honestly mix the 
primer, the illuminating primer, in with the foundation. That would be a really pretty combo as well. So you can kind of create your own little custom concoctions. That's my favorite way to do my base makeup is just find a little cocktail that works best for your skin type and just one that you feel the most comfortable in. Um, they all mix really well together and I really enjoy them. I think they all look really pretty on the skin. And this foundation would normally retail for $35, but with the Beauty Pie membership, it is $14. So just a really great affordable price for a really solid, solid foundation. So for concealer, I'm gonna be using the Everyday Great Skin Concealer. Both the foundation and the concealer are newer products to Beauty Pie, and I've actually really enjoyed both of these. So this is the shade 200 Buttermilky. And I don't want to apply too much concealer. I really want my natural skin to show through. I don't want to cover up too much, but I just want to take a little bit for the under eyes just because I've got some redness right in here. And with this concealer, I have found the best way to use it is to let it sit. If you are wanting more coverage, let it sit on your skin, kind of dry down. It does allow you to do that. I'm actually going to take a little bit just right here on this outer corner. I feel like I'm really red right here. I didn't sleep very well last night. Um, just feel like I'm really red around my eyes. So I'm gonna let this sit for a second, drink some water, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna take my sponge and start blending it out. And if you let it sit on the skin, like I said, for, you know, 20, 30 seconds, whatever, whatever time you have, um, you get a solid medium, like high, high medium coverage which is really nice. And I would say, just like the foundation, it has more of a natural finish. It's not dewy, it's not matte. And I love this for the under eye area. I love it on the rest of the face, if you have blemishes or anything you need to cover. I'm kind of, I'm just gonna let my skin kind of breathe. I have a few little spots, but honestly, I just don't mind it. I kind of just want my skin to look like skin. Moving on to powder, I do want to set down my face a little bit, just for longevity purposes. Make sure my makeup stays on all day. I'm actually wearing this makeup all day long, so I definitely want it to stay in place. So I'm gonna use their Super Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Looks like this. Has a really nice mesh sifter, which I love when brands do the mesh sifter. It's very, very helpful. <laughs> Just for a little bit of a lighter application on the under eye area, I'm actually gonna take the Beauty Pie Pro Eyeshadow Blending Brush. I'm gonna use this to actually set my under eyes. I love using eye brushes for the under eyes. Just find that it really gets way up in there. You have a little more control. I take some down my nose around my nose, just all the areas where I get a little bit shiny. And then just really lightly, I'm gonna take their all over face large brush, really nice, soft, fluffy brush, and just lightly tap that on the cheek area. But this powder's really nice because it has um, almost like this blurring effect and it takes down the shine, but it doesn't take away the overall glow of the products underneath, if that makes sense. I love when powders are like that where you can set your makeup down, but it's not gonna alter the overall appearance of the products that you applied. All right, so this next product I've used before on my channel. I love this. I love the formula of these. They remind me of that baked gelé formula. This is the Beauty Pie Glow All Super Powder Face Palette. I used this in my last Beauty Pie video, and I'm actually gonna take the bronzer, which is in the shade Buddha Bronze, and I'm gonna use that powder brush just kind of look like we've got a little bit of color right now. We're all just very flat one dimension. I want to add back a little bit of dimension to the skin. So I'm just going to take this very liberally, but still quite loosely, just around the perimeter of the face. Take a little bit on my nose. I always like to put some on my nose. I'm just going to see it just gives a little bit of color. Just makes us look a little more awake, alive. Um, and then for highlighter, this is another one of my favorite Beauty Pie products. This is the Triple Beauty Luminizing Wand. I talked about this in my last Beauty Pie video as well. I love this. This is such a beautiful highlighter. It has this little sponge tip applicator and just has this really pretty, just glossy, dewy look to the skin. So I'm just going to pick it up with my finger and just press that on the skin. It's really translucent. So it just makes for such a really nice and natural highlight. And then this would not be a fresh look without blush. 
So I actually have two of their uh, Super Cheeks. I'm not sure which one I want to use. I have Sexy Berry and Universal Pink. Um, this is Sexy Berry. It's a more red berry. Like it's not a true purpley berry. It has a nice kind of red undertone to it, which I find is really nice. It kind of mimics that suntanned look. And then Universal Pink is a little bit brighter. Um, but these are a nice kind of more cream to powder formula. They're not super, they're not dewy on the skin, um, even though they are creams. They set down to a nice more matte finish, which I find helps with longevity. So I think I'm going to use Universal Pink. I like how bright and fresh it is, and I think it'll go with this look really nicely. And I'm just going to place that on the cheek. These blend out really easily, so I know I look a little crazy right now. And then I'm going to take their Seamless Foundation Buffing Brush and just push that into the skin. You can just see it just melts into the skin. These do apply nicely on top of powders, so that is also nice. I prefer to apply my cream blush on top of powder. This looks so fresh and yummy. You know what? I kind of want to add a little bit of Sexy Berry just because just right here at the high point just for a little bit more depth so these blushes will normally retail around $35 but with the membership they are $9.98 less than $10 you're getting a ton of product they really are a nice cream blush and you'll know I'm super picky about my cream blushes so I already filled in my brows off camera but I'm gonna go and use the Beauty Pie Archology eyebrow sculpting gel um this is a brow gel and i'm going to use this in my brows this obviously i'm way over explained that uh this is in the shade hot coffee which is a nice more neutral toned dark brown i'm going to start by back combing the back of my brows just to give them more volume and then go through and fluff them up so for the eyes, I'm going to take a break from their cream eyeshadow sticks. You all know how much I love their cream shadow sticks. They were in my 2021 favorites video. They are so gorgeous. But in an effort to use something different that you all haven't seen me use, um, I'm going to use one of their eyeshadow palettes. This is the Push Your Lux eyeshadow palette. I love the packaging of all of their palettes. Like This is their face palette. This is their eyeshadow palette. It's just very luxe, very heavy, just kind of ni really nice feeling. This is what she looks like got nine shades in here this is definitely my kind of color story I love these taupey shades like these are screaming at me we're not gonna go too dark today we're gonna stick with the lighter shades but yeah just a really pretty array of colors so let's go ahead and dip into this I'm gonna start with the shade with this shade I cannot pronounce it Sh Ugh. I have no idea how to say that it's this name right here and just kind of run that through my crease towards my brow and bring a little bit into this outer corner. But like I said, we're doing very, very minimal eye. All right, so with my same brush, I'm gonna dip into this shade, which is called Hot Bronze, a shade that I can pronounce. I'm gonna take it on my fluffy brush because I want a really light wash of this. I don't want anything too densely packed on my lid. You could even just use your finger if you wanted to. And I'm just going to lightly dust this. And then I'm going to dip back into that middle shade, the matte shade that we used first. And I'm going to run a little bit of that along my lower lash line. I'm not making this too smoky or intense. I just want to kind of balance out the eye. This will also make your eyes look more open. So for the eyeshadow palette, this would normally retail for $55. But if you're a member, it's $14.97. So affordable, less than $15, you're getting nine really beautiful eyeshadows. And I you just you just can't beat it. It's kind of crazy. Alright, I'm gonna zoom y'all in for the mascara. So this is the Uber Volume Boost mascara. I've talked about this several times on my channel. A really great, just intense volumizing mascara. That's what the wand looks like, just a traditional bristle wand going to really work this through my lashes because I want a lot of volume today. I always start at the root and like wiggle up and push my lashes. I kind of close my eyes on top of the wand. 
And I feel like that's how I get the best coating. Alright, so mascara is on. You can just see how like crazy voluminous this mascara is. It's really, really nice. So before we move on to the lip, I wanted to do one more thing on the eyes. I'm just feeling like I want my eyes to look a little bit more glossy. So I'm actually going to take the Pro Glow strobing drops that we used on the face. Um, I'm just going to take a tiny bit on the back of my hand. You do not need a lot of this. It's very intense. I'm going to use that same eyeshadow brush. This is the Pro Eyeshadow Blending Brush from Beauty Pie. I'm going to pick up a tiny bit of that and I'm going to apply this just right on the center of my lid just for a little bit more juice, you know? So pretty. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. I just want a little bit more moisture on the eyes. <laughs> Okay, so for the lips, you already know how much I love their lip pencils. I use the shade Foxy all the time. It's one of my favorite lip liners of all time. Not only is the formula just super long wearing. I mean, these wear all day long. But I actually have a new shade that I want to use. This is the shade Damsel. These are super creamy, just a really beautiful, beautiful formula. And like I said, like one of the most long wearing lip pencils that I've ever tried. Ooh, and I love this shade. It's maybe like half a shade to a shade deeper than my lip. All right, so for the lips, I have a new product um, that I really want to use. This is their, it doesn't say it on the packaging, but, but it's their Future Lipstick Luxe Shine. And it just kind of almost is like a, an in-between of a lipstick and a lip balm. It's like a tinted lip balm, but it's got pretty good color payoff. So this is what it looks like. This is the shade Bruised Berry. I'll swatch it next to the lip liner. So you can see it's got a lot of color to it, but it's got a sh more shiny finish. And it's really, um, it's more on the balmy side uh, in terms of texture. I'm just gonna tap it and then use my finger to work it into the lips. Wow, that's like a perfect shade match for this lip pencil. So normally these lipsticks are $30 without the membership, but with the membership they're $11.33, a steal. And I just love this formula. If you like kind of a tinted lip balm product, I think you'll really enjoy this. Now, I am wanting a glossy lip, and I just cannot not use this next product. This was another one that made my 2021 favorites because the formula of these is just so good. Um, these are their Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oils. I don't think I've used this particular shade on my channel, so I thought it'd be a good day to use it. Uh, this is shade Spicy Pink. I also have Cherio, which is a gorgeous sheer cherry color. And then I have one of their nude shades, which is somewhere in a makeup bag or in a purse downstairs because I use that one all the time. That's my go-to just like nude gloss. Um, but this one I want to use today since we're doing a little bit more of a pinky lip. These are really sheer. Um, here, I'll swatch it next to the other ones. So there's not a ton of color payoff, but it's just super moisturizing and balmy. Wow, that is a fresh pink lip. It's a little out of my comfort zone. I don't normally do pink lips like this, but I just think it looks so just, it's like a little bit of color, a little pop of color, but it's nothing over the top and it just looks super fresh and just my lips look really healthy. But that completes this New Year's refresh makeup look. I hope you enjoyed. I do have a discount code with Beauty Pie. It is Alexa sent me and it will give you $10 off your first membership or first purchase. I love the way that my makeup turned out. And like I said, I will definitely use this eyeshadow palette in another video because I just love these cranberry tones. I think that'll be such a pretty look. So thank you so much for being with me today, for hanging out with me as always. I'm so excited for the new year. I'm excited for all the fun things I have planned on my channel. I know that amazing things are going to happen for y'all. Amazing things are going to happen for me. And I'm just so excited to see what is yet to come. So thank you so much for being here. Remember, I love you. God loves you. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. You are